If you have been looking for a good pair of pendant lights for your workspace or dining area, the Yee Light Crystal Pendant Lights on my back here could be a great choice for you. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Automation where we talk about smart home products and services in this special segment of the channel. And here's what you need to know about the Yee Light Crystal Pendant Lights. So this is the E-Light Crystal Pendant Light. As you can see, it is really easy to detach it from the seating as it is held by two strings where you just simply need to press these two buttons and when you want to just attach it back up, make sure you insert the string into these two connectors here and you're pretty much all set. And the other thing that you need to do is to just connect the power connector here, which is the thing that supplies power to this light. And interestingly, it is using a rather standard two pin power connector that you can find on most electrical appliances out there. So so you don't necessarily need to mount this up to the ceiling. You can just attach a cable and connect to the power and this will simply light it up. Now in terms of rated power, Yee Light rates this at 33 watts, which I think is very power efficient and is very standard for a LED lighting. Now on the front here, it has a sealed design, so no dust can ever go in into the LED compartment here. And it has a color temperature range of 2700K to 6500K. And what makes this pendant light really special is that it has these two honeycomb RGB strips right on top here, which can go to a lot of colors. As you can see right here, we have managed to turn it into a purple color ambient lighting that shoots light up to the top. So it really creates a really nice ambience lighting when you install this on a workspace or a dining area. As you can see, I've powered up the Yee Light Crystal Pendant Light by using a simple two-pin cord and this is how it looks like. And man, I dare say that this could be a good photography lighting if you want to use it as one because it has different color temperatures that you can set here. So I have paired this pendant light with this Yee Light remote control here and I'm just going to shine it on myself so you guys can see how uh, different CCTs look like when it is shown on my face, all right? So I'm just going to press on the temperature change button here. And now we are in a slightly warmer white color. Press again. It's going to a warm color and press on it again. And it goes to the warmest color temperature that it has right here. Pretty amazing, right? So let's go back to the usual white color. This is probably my favorite color temperature. And what makes this crystal pendant light really interesting is that it has two honeycomb RGB strips right on the back here that shines on top to the ceiling like I mentioned earlier. And let me just show you guys on how it looks like. We can basically just switch between modes by just pressing the mode button on the remote here. There you go, it turns into a purple color. Press again and it turns off. Let's press on it again, it goes back to this orange like color. So yeah, you basically get three RGB modes when you use the remote control, but there's more that I would like to show you guys on the app. So we are now at the Yee Light app, which is used to configure the Yee Light Crystal Pendant Light. And as you can see, I have a lot of devices here, but I'm just going to tap on Content Pendant Left here. So we have six lighting presets for us to play with here. So we have the Dishes uh, lighting preset, which you can see it goes into a warm lighting here. And on the back here, you can see uh, it has this orange color ambient light that shoots up to the top of the ceiling. And if we change to Festive Feast, and this basically cools down the temperature a little. If we go to candle flicker, uh, basically the back of the ambient light changed to an even more yellowish ambient lighting. We have romantic date, which changes to purple color. We have reading, which turns off the ambient lighting and brightens up the bottom lighting, which goes to a really bright warm white color. And finally, we have tea time, which is for you to have a chill moment and it kind of uh, darkens the brightness a bit and turns into a warm white color. Now we can adjust the brightness of the lamp by using this slider here and it goes up to 1500 lumens as mentioned earlier. So you can even just go to this white tab here to go to the preferred CCT that you want. Now let's head on over to this MB light tab here because this is where you can configure the top ambient lighting. So you get, as usual, six presets if you want to do that. But the interesting one is this color palette here because you can configure to any colors that you want with this color palette. So let's say if I want to have it in green color, this is how green color looks like. And if I want red color, 
this is how it looks like. In fact, the color is actually pretty accurate according to my smartphone screen here, which is what really, really impresses me. And look at this here. It even has a brightness slider here, and it is separate from the main bottom lighting here, which is something that's really great. You can control two different brightness levels, which is actually great. Next, let's check out some other features of the Yi Light Crystal Pendant Light. So I'm going to tap on this bottom right button here. So as you can see, you get a few more settings here, including favorites. This is where you can save your favorite settings onto this page here. It will automatically apply the color profile that you want onto the light here. So you also get a schedule setting here where you can schedule uh, when to turn on and off this light. And you also get to have a timer feature here where you get to set how long you want the light to automatically turn off once it is turned on. So one thing that's interesting right here is that you can pair it to a Xiaomi Mi Band because Yi Light is actually part of Xiaomi. So you can uh, pair it with a Mi Band, which essentially helps you to turn off the light when the Mi Band detects that you are sleeping, all right? So you can install this in your room if you want to. So the most interesting setting that I find out on the Yi Light app recently was this new home screen shortcut here. So I can actually add a dimmer shortcut onto my home screen and let's do it right now. So what's going to happen is that on your home screen, there will be a dimmer button here. And once you tap on it, you can simply just adjust the color temperature of the crystal pendant light. It's just so cool directly from the home screen. You do not need to use any voice assistance and all that. And speaking of voice assistance, the Yi Light Crystal Pendant Light will support Amazon Alexa as well as Google's Assistant. So yeah, these are the smart assistants that you can use with the Light Crystal Pendant Light, all right? And let's head back over to the Yi Light app again and check out some of the settings. Now you also have a night mode feature here where it will automatically switch to a lower brightness on the specific time. So yeah, the features of the Yi Light Crystal Pendant Light is pretty standard across other Yi Light smart lighting. So it's it's definitely a really easy smart light to use if you want to buy it for your workspace or dining area. The effective lighting coverage area for the Yi Light Crystal Pendant Light when you lower it down from a 10 feet ceiling to 7 feet is 8 feet wide and 4 feet tall, which is essentially like a big dining table. So this is actually a pretty good choice if you are thinking to buy a pendant light for your dining area or even for a workspace like this. Just install two and you are good to go. The Yi Light Crystal Pendant Light currently retails at 399 ringgit, and if you're interested in getting one, definitely head on over to the link down below. As for now, that's all for the Yi Light Crystal Pendant Lights on this episode of Automation. Do let me know what are your thoughts on this in the comments down below, and be sure to subscribe for more automation episodes coming right up. And I'll see you guys in the next one.